Welcome back, everybody. This is Mog on Mog's Cast, playing some more XCOM Enemy Unknown with you guys today. Uh, this is going to be episode 16. And we have some Commander, alien abductions. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the Hologlobe. Yes, we definitely have a few abductions. Looks like Australia, France, and the United Kingdoms have some issues. I think we're going to have to go for... Um, or the best bet is going to be going for Australia at this point because of the money. We need money to uh, make sure that we have enough for little things here and there, as well as getting our satellites up and in, into the Atmo by the end of this month. Because or up into the Atmo, uh, up into orbit um, by the end of this month, because we definitely need to start getting some more up there. So starting some more excavation there, uh, just kind of gearing up and getting ready to, to jump into one of these missions, uh, making sure we take care of anything that needs to be done now. So let's take a look. Uh, I think we're pretty good. Um, let's probably take a look at our loadouts, uh, see where we're looking or how we're looking here. So Australia very difficult for 200 cash though. So it looks like we've got a pretty decent team here. Uh, Major Griffin, uh, Corporal Brittany, Major Williams, uh, Captain Anders, Lieutenant Sky, and Lieutenant Keenan. Let's take a look at David Griffin here, the prototype. Looks like he's pretty much got everything he can have. We don't have the upgrades for the heavy weapons just yet, which uh, we definitely need to start looking into. We got the rest of our guys with plasmas. They still have basics. We definitely need to get Keenan and Major Griffin up to up to snuff a little bit. Let's see. It's looking pretty decent, I think. We don't need to change much. Everybody's pretty well set. So, got an arc thrower, now fiber med kits. Oh, taking uh, David out of there. Uh, I think that's who we want, though. Oh, I am injured. <laughs> that's what I was looking for at this point. He's my sniper. He is still injured, so we're gonna go. Just deal, I guess. So let's see what they're gonna call this mission, shall we? Complete. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. Yeah. Begin assault. Operation Australia has sent a number calm. of requests for assistance. So that's our next drop site. Seems an interesting title for this operation. Twisted Calm. Makes sense for an abduction, I suppose. So land in the Sky Ranger. Looks like we're on a bridge. Central. Does that look right? Sky. We Straight do look like we're on a bridge. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. So yeah, bridge, pretty narrow map. Uh, always nice for uh, slow advancement and just making sure that we don't get flanked. Always a plus. It is a big enough room that we definitely can get flanked if we're not being smart, but if we are being smart, usually these kind of maps are pretty easy to manage. So moving up, going into some overwatch positions here with full cover with Sky Got and something over here. A couple of set codes popped up. It looks like they spotted us. And they're going to move, but we do have these overwatches, and that shotgun's probably not going to do much. Oh, no, no, Nailed that's a plasma ri uh, light plasma rifle. He doesn't have a shotgun this match. That's right. So we got one down. Just one more to go there. Um, don't want to push it too fast. There could be more in the area. Since we just had our first move, I'm really surprised we ran into enemies that quickly, but that's how it goes sometimes. So hunger and down, bringing up Mushkin and the dashing action of that taxi, making sure that he's got at least some cover. That sectoid's moving up. Is he gonna take some pot shots at him? They're backing up. Advance. Looks like they're gonna try and uh, take some shots at him. That's gonna be a miss, but it is gonna set that uh, that taxi on fire. I hope I realize that. So Keenan's gonna move over, jump over that wall. Looks like we're gonna get some thin men activated here. So that's not gonna be the best of spots for him to be. We might not be able to take a shot, we might just have to move him back. 60, 60, 60. Uh, we're gonna take a shot. We got one of them, so that's one down at least. And Keenan is gonna be stuck there, exposed to that other thin man. So the idea here is gonna be to get him out of there. We do have running gun. We should really not have just dashed like that. We should have ran again. Ran and gan. Run and gunneth. Runneded and gunneded is what we should have done it. But we weren't thinking. 69%. Are we gonna take it? 
the only one that we have in view. We're gonna hunker down. We're leaving Keenan exposed. This is not a good plan of action. We probably could have taken out that other thin man and had these guys behind cover. And we're just not thinking. Start of a match, unfortunately. Just what's happening. Okay. So we're just gonna hunker down, as is Anders. Both run by it. That thing's gonna pop, They're falling and that back. thin man is probably gonna get a shot at us. That sectoid's running back. And just some cover, and full cover back there behind the, the semi. And that thin man, are they gonna move up? It sure sounds like they're gonna move up, take some shots. And we're gonna get him. Only two damage, but all the same, that's, not, that's two damage we didn't have to take. Ooh, that, uh, that car up there is on fire too. I hope I, I noticed that one. So, Williams here. It's going to probably make a, a dashing action at one point here to get up and closer to the action, but for now, David Griffin is going to move up to this car, probably take a shot, or at least see about taking a shot. Grapple? Okay, we might jump up onto the roof there. A little scuff and see if take advantage of it. Okay. So, mush. He don't do it, don't do it. It's a bad idea. Okay. So, Brittany. These are not good positions. X -ray That's not covered. That is not covered. And we just exposed some mutons. <laughs> Alright. So we got mutons uh, moving in on us. And Keenan is not in cover. Bring in the pain. But we are suppressing Negative. that cover. So Williams move up to that full cover there. Alex Andrews is also going to dash up to that full cover. Stan Sky is going to move over and stop being flanked, but he is not getting a shot, so he's going to overwatch, and Brittany is also going to overwatch at this point. At least we weren't sitting by that, that, tack, or that, that vehicle there when it popped. That would have been good for our health. Okay, so these mutons are going to take a shot over here at, at David, and they are going to get a, a hit for two damage there, up on the roof. Um, so, not great. And a miss from the second one. Where's that third man, I wonder? It looks like that thin man didn't move, so Keenan, you got lucky there. But, uh, David here is the one who just got hit most recently, so we need to keep an eye on you two. Shredder rocket or a fire rocket? I think fire rocket's gonna be the way to go. It's heavier damage, and we can get these guys, I think. If we can get it far enough back, we might be able to get all three of them, too. So we're gonna aim for that middle one, hopefully catch all three. And we did. We definitely caught all three. Got a kill. Got... Did we get three kills? Did we actually get three kills right there? That's awesome. Well freaking done, David. Destroyed those freaking those freaking mutons. Oh, and Keenan was out of ammo and just totally exposed himself. We need a running gun here immediately. To try to position. save this guy. Okay, moving up as far as we can go, getting a good angle on that guy and flanking him. So we should get a kill here. 100% chance. <laughs> Brittany just saved your life, Keenan. She just saved your life. Actually, probably not. You probably would have survived an attack from a, from a thin man, but all the same. Just got your back. Jeremy Williams, let's see. What should we do with you, buddy? We don't want to get you too close, but we are going to move you up to the, the truck here for full cover. And same with Alexander's. Keeping our medics toward the back and in full cover is always a good plan. Just love that sectoid. I totally spaced on that sectoid right there. Are they going to take a shot? Nope. They used two move actions to expose themselves completely to me. Some, some, some distance there. So Jeremy Williams, I think. Maybe, maybe David? David, are you going to take that shot? Where are we going to have one take that shot? David. Looks like. What's your percentage on this one? Oh, we're going to move you. Right next to this thing. 70% chance. I'll take that. Subduing time. Oh, with an arc thrower. Tell Good the call. We'll bring it home Previous alive. past mog. We had not caught a, a sectoid at this point, so there we go. We have a sectoid captured. And we're going to be able to interrogate it. Probably won't get much from the bonuses, but all the same, it's part of the research tree. Alright, dropping into Overwatch with pretty much almost everybody, looks like. <laughs> Excuse me, early morning. So Stance guy moving up to the, to the car there, not in the poison cloud then, really dropping into an Overwatch position there. And do we see any movement? We don't see nothing, so we're going to keep moving up. 
And we've already got, what is this? Seven kills on this map. That was fast. Seven kills. Oh, sorry about that. Bumped the mic with my coffee cup. That is my bad. Uh, so, uh, we got three more mutons. No, four. four. Oh, we didn't kill the last one. There must have been four there, and that one took some damage, but not a full kill. Okay, so we got four mutons back there. And we're running Keenan back into cover there. But, um, yeah, I just uploaded, um, not too long ago, the couple of multiplayer matches on this game, uh, with a buddy of mine by the name of Loom. Uh, if you guys want to do some co-op matches with some stuff, I know, uh, was it Bilbo? You mentioned wanting to play some, some Daisy. I'm sorry, I haven't actually gotten in touch with you about that. We really should. I would like to play some more DayZ. Um, last time I tried playing, I had some issues actually finding a good server and logging into it. I don't know if all my stuff was updated. I checked Battle Eye. Nice, we got to kill the Rustin Sky. I checked Battle Eye. I checked the beta patch. Um, it was updated all the way through Steam. I, I think that was all good. But uh, I was having some trouble logging in, and it looks like uh, He's down. Williams there is ah, taking a shot, but that was a miss. Target. But yeah, uh, if you want to get together, we can definitely try to get my stuff all updated. Ooh, grenade throw, not great. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can take a look at all my uh, installations and everything for Arma and Daisy, and we def I definitely like to play. I think me uh, and um, my buddy Shroom would also enjoy jumping in on that together if you guys would like. Um, doesn't even have to be Daisy. Arma to you would be it would be a blast. And my preview window froze. There we go. Okay, it looks like it's our turn again. Moving him away from that car. Okay, cool. Good good plan. But yeah, so Arma 2, even Don't just move. play multiplayer like an armory match, or you just get to fly around with a few folks in like helicopters or whatever the heck you want. We've had fun doing that, just like fly into different cities and have like hunts of one another. It's it's a bit more direct and straight to the action, but it definitely is still fun. Um, but yeah, let me know if you if you actually hear this. I would love to play. Or if there's other uh, subscribers out there who want to get together, play some games. Doesn't have to be uh, Arma. Doesn't have to be. I got a lot of RTSs. I'm not great, but I'll take a I'll take a swing at you. Company of Heroes, original Company of Heroes. I don't have the new one yet. Uh, maybe Red Alert Three. I haven't I haven't gotten to play yet. Or was it? Is that the new one? Red Alert Three. Or is that two? I think it's Red Alert 3. That's what popped in my head, anyway. CNN. Anywho, yeah, take a look. Um, check out my library video that I updated, or uploaded, not long ago, to the channel if you want to take a look at my, my library on Steam and GOG.com and see what, what games you might have in common. Uh, I'm always down for some co-op games. I think it's a lot of fun. Co-op or versus, doesn't matter. It's always fun to just get some variety. In fact, hey, we might ah, even order with it. And uh, upload it to the channel if, you, if you're down. So we're taking some shots, doing some uh, pressing fire. Alex Andrews gonna get the kill back there. Good shooting, Alex. With with help there from Keenan. Well played. Leota Brittany is gonna move up. It looks like I don't want to go to that that car. Don't do that. I'm gonna dash around, jump behind that that. Half cover there, better than nothing, and a good, good facing angle. There goes that car. Boom, station wagon toasted. Muton is moving up into half cover, so they don't have great cover. We can probably get this, this uh, one taken out here on the next turn, but they got a hit there. Four damage, looks like, on Leota. So let's see. Williams, Jeremy Williams, and Gunner Sky, Stan Sky. Needs to reload sooner or later. He's got one more shot at him. 53%. We're gonna take it. That is gonna be a miss. Saw Target's that one coming still up. up. Okay, Keenan. 50%. Can we do this? We can't do another suppressing. There's not enough ammo. But we are gonna get shot. And it's gonna be a hit for some damage. It's like five damage. But sweet. Oh wait, we can take another shot there with Keenan. It looked like. Whatever. Williams is moving up. 67%. Let's take that. That's gonna be a miss. Damn it! Enemy is still alive. Alex Andrews, how are we looking? Move you up to full cover. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Right there. Probably get a shot off. How are we looking? I didn't even look there. Nope, that's a miss though. Still up. Stan Sky is gonna need to bring this home, I think. 
the prototype can move up. Take, ooh, this might be the way to go. He gets some, some close. Oh, can't see. Of course not. Of course not. Uh, Keenan is out of ammo. Rock and roll. Okay, reload. And Stan Sky is going to be the one who has to bring this home, I think. Get up there on the uh, higher ground. Should give us a, a bonus. 75%. Here we are. day. Another successful and operation. And that does it. Stan Sky brought, brought it home for us. It looks like we have panic in the UK. I knew that was probably going to happen based on their um, panic level before the mission started. They all go up, the ones you don't choose. So the UK was bound to get, get a little crazy, which means we have to save them if we want to keep them in the council. If we let the, the council report at the end of the month come by and they are still in the full red, they will leave, and there is no way for us to ever get them back on the council, so we like to lose any bonuses available in that country for having all the countries. We also lose the money that they that they would pledge toward the XCOM project if we launch satellites over their over their country. So we need to do everything we possibly can to get that back. Your men and certainly seem right to have a neck for, for capturing alien subjects alive. I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Please pass on my gratitude to our forces. Will do, Doctor. We will be in touch, it. Commander. So let's see, we do have a skeleton key, we do have the ability to assault the alien base, and I think that's going to be something I want to do. I know I've been ignoring it, but uh, that's definitely something that I'd like to do sooner or later here. Um, but we're going to take a look. Our thermo generators in three days, we've got a workshop nearing completion, we got some excavation still going on um, from what we started before we launched, and um, yeah, we just, we're getting close. We need that thermo generator to finish so that we can build the Nexus and actually be able to support satellites before uh, the end of the month. This is 100% necessary if we want to maintain our full council. We just can't do it at the moment. We, we are too low on, on power. Everything's too close. I've got one extra power unit available for something. I don't want to build a power generator because it becomes just a waste of time. It's only three more days until the thermo generator stop. Uh, finishes, but we need to get this going because it takes a while to build the Nexus. I'm glad I already have my satellite started. It's 25 days. Once that thermal generator finishes, we have maybe, if we're lucky, a full 22 days before it, before it ends, and I think it takes 20 to 21 days to finish the, uh, to finish the Nexus. So if we can get it, we'll be cutting it super close. So it looks like we just finished some research there. We're going to start the, um, uh, the interrogation. We finished our plasma cannons for the for the hangar, so that's good. Interrogating the sectoids finally. Not gonna probably learn too much. Yeah, take that, you little bastard. Yep. Okay. So it gave us some beam weapon uh, research credits, but I'm pretty sure we have all that already. Oh, maybe not. We have uh, heavy lasers and precision lasers. We still haven't. We still haven't done. Excuse me, sorry about that. That we still haven't done. We still have uh, plasma pistols and plasma rifles we can research. Titan armor and new fighter crafts we need to do. But for now, I think we're going to do precision lasers, get our shotguns and our uh, sniper rifle upgrades, finally. Okay, anything we can buy currently? Du -du 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 -du. Oh, let's pick up a plasma cannon just so we can equip it somewhere and see how it's looking at. 70 cost. A uh, good amount of engineers needed for doing these. 14 Illyrium, 14 alloys. That's cool. Okay, so we got one plasma cannon. Let's take a look at that hangar, shall we? Uh, Africa looking good. North America's looking okay. Um, let's take that from the missiles and actually put the plasma cannon there over uh, the Africa. Yeah, nor uh, North America. Okay, fine. Let's put the plasma cannon there. Uh, Phoenix cannon. We're going to equip that so that we won't have both Phoenix cannons. Uh, avalanche missiles. Let's change that up for another set of Phoenix cannons. Avalanche mission uh, missiles uh, equipped fighter over Asia. Let's equip that. Is that Asia? Yeah, it was Asia. And okay, everything's got Phoenix cannons. We no longer have any avalanche missiles, so that's good. All upgraded there for the most part. Now avalanche miss missiles do come in handy. You can get them from longer ranges. The uh, the the cannon there. The uh, what the heck was it called? Whatever. The Phoenix Cannon. The Phoenix Cannon, we have to get closer when we're fighting the things, so it opens us up from taking more damage, but at the same time, it's kind of worth it. We do have a council request for two scopes for a couple of engineers. That's totally worth it for how cheap scopes are. Um, so let's take a look. Buy a couple buy a couple scopes. 
and what we turn those in, that costs us 22, and it gets us three freaking engineers, which will probably save us uh, money in the long run. Well, it'll, it'll save us money in the short run. The next thing that finishes, we might get a, a couple extra credits from just that, and uh, start start building that back. It won't take long for us for those three engineers to pay themselves off. So let's take a peek here. Our thermogen raider's almost done. Stan Sky's wounded for three days. But he'll be back up anyways. Okay. Thermogenerator is all finished. Um, so we gonna have an we're gonna have an excess of power for a bit here. This should hold us over until we have our Illyrium generator. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Thank we're always you. glad to have more help down here. Awesome. So right here, we need to build a Nexus. This is going to be our best bet if we can. Next, and we can. Perfect. Eight engineers, 35, or eight power, 35 engineers, 325 alloy. Uh, I didn't catch the rest of it. Oh, 21 days. Ooh. How are we looking? This is going to be super close. This is going to be so close. Okay. Uh, we only need one. Uh, Mexico isn't looking great. But do they already have uh, a thing? Uh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> wow, we ha we beat the clock by one day for getting our ability to launch satellites. They do not have to be... F it takes a few days for a satellite once it's launched to get into proper orbit over um, the country we need it. Thankfully, we don't have to wait for that to get the bonuses. Or to get the drop in panic. As soon as we launch, they are okay. It drops like two. Or maybe it... Cause it no, it doesn't fully reset. It drops by two, I think. Two panic level. So let's see, it looks like we finished um, our precision lasers. I think we're gonna, yeah, we start a new fighter craft is what we wanna do. Sorry, I looked down at my sheet just to make sure because I kinda missed what we actually just finished. I'm pretty sure that was a new fighter craft. Uh, da -da -da -da. Scan for activity. Oh, we're gonna save. This is where I, I looked and I was like, you know what? I think we're gonna do the alien base. We, I kinda wanna do the alien base. So we are gonna take a look here. Um, we're definitely going to need to do some, some messing with our loadouts because I think I do want to make sure all of our guys at least have some upgraded weaponry. I need to get our heavy weapons and our sniper rifles looking good. But with precision lasers just finishing, um, we can get that equipped. And, or not, not precision lasers. Um, or was that precision? It was precision lasers. We still need to do heavy lasers, which is one thing that I do want to do. I want to make sure that we are sitting at least good looking before we jump into that, that alien base. This will be the first time I've ever done this alien base. I have done it at this point in future talk mog as opposed to when this was actually recorded. This is post commentary. I know I, I didn't actually mention that earlier, but if you've been watching the rest of them, you should hopefully be aware. Um, yeah, I've, I've played through once after this playthrough that you're watching, and I played through on normal, and I've done this and beaten it and all that, beaten the game. So, uh... Yeah, it's been fun. I really enjoy this game. It's honestly probably one of my more favorite games currently. Uh, Snagging a, a rifle, we got a, a shotgun. So we got our sniper rifle there. We have a shotgun for an assault class. We just need some heavy, heavy lasers. Let's wait. Let's scan for activity. Let's get that workshop, workshop online. The Nine new right arrived there. this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I'm sure you are, Doctor Shen. Thank you. The foundry. We could build a foundry. But that would leave us high and dry on credits. I think we'd have seven. Yeah, we'd have seven left. Um, ten more days until our satellites are ready, but not ten more days. It'll be more than that for our actual Nexus to, to maintain them. So we need that. We'll have them done and ready to be launched as soon as that Nexus completes. Scan for activity. No, we're going to take a look back in here. Um, no, we, we don't have stuff. You want to keep the scope. It's kind of good for you. I like having heavies with scopes because of their their terrible accuracy with those with those uh, heavy weapons already. Having them have a scope increases that a lot, which is great. Okay, Stan, and I go oh, stop clicking on customize. You crazy bastard, previous mob. Okay, scatter laser. Should we give it to him? Five seven. Yeah, scatter laser is the way to go. I love having a shotgun on assault classes. It's great, because I usually equip my assault classes with my arc thrower, which you can see here. So what I'll do is I'll run them up, and if they need to, I can just pump a freaking round of shotguns full under their chest, and then and then capture them, if need be. 
And especially with their running gun ability, it's great to get up close and just finish somebody off with a shotgun. Okay, anything to sell? Anything at all? Looks like most of this stuff hasn't been fully researched yet, so I don't really want to sell anything. I was looking at this because I figured if I could get some extra money, maybe it would be worth building some some foundry. So our excavation finished, and I will be really surprised if we don't uh, encounter another like abduction or UFO. Our fighter craft is finished. Uh, so let's see, heavy lasers, three days. I uh, can't afford the plasmas, I need more weapon fragments. EMP cannon, 12 days, titan armor. Let's see, EMP cannon's great by the way. It's a, it's an awesome way to, to uh, awesome weapon to equip on your uh, fighter craft to take down, to take down ships, because it doesn't blow them apart, it just shuts them down, you get better salvage. And I didn't want to exit there. Um, Titan armor, 12 days. Heavy lasers, 3 days. We should really do heavy lasers. There we go. Okay, heavy lasers it is. So let's go back. Scan for activity. And sweet. We did finish that. Awesome. So now we can build our uh, heavy laser and a laser cannon. Which isn't as good as the EMP, but laser cannon, hey, come on. It's not bad. Titan armor, Titan armor, Titan armor, 12 days. Okay. So, in the meantime, let's jump over to engineering, pick up our upgrades for our weapons, and finish getting geared out for this alien assault, or alien base assault. Heavy lasers. I'm gonna have to snake two of those, one for Keenan, one for David. There we go. Everything else we're looking pretty good on. We've been we've been upgraded, we we messed with our loadouts. We're gonna save this game one more time before we get going, just to make sure that all this work and all these things that I've done up until this point are saved and good to go. Alien base assault. Keenan, loadout. Let's give you a weapon. Okay. So got that one. We are looking good. David gets his uh, his laser his freaking laser gatling gun and Mog Shepard is back in the action so let's get him his, his gear back skeleton suit and a laser sniper rifle booyah everything else looking good we do not have the plasma pistols upgrade yet even though I think we have some plasma pistols I'm not sure. and cool guys with that um, we will see you next time cheers